Hello. Oh, Fry, Hello. what's happening? How is are this, you? Is, is this typical that David J is always late? Where, oh. where is he? Oh, yeah. He called me and he like literally five minutes ago and he's like, I'm so tired right now. And I'm like, it, it's 830 for me. It's I think 1030 for him. And he's like, I can't get up. But he's here. Is he going to ditch? Be, I, I, I honestly don't need him. Like, I just need you. Right? I just need one of you to be I've honest. I've been saying that. I've been I, saying that. Tell him, tell him we don't need him. Tell him to go back to bed. I, I don't know why we need him on this. To be honest, this, I agree. I completely agree. This is unbelievable, though. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy birthday. Thank you so, so much. I was fishing for that. <laughs> what are you doing to celebrate? We're throwing up a big singles party tonight in Nashville. If you're around, you should hop a flight. Um, David Jay's invited. Every, every, everyone's invited. We're going to a bar, L.A. Jackson in Nashville. We're going to be handing out wristbands that say you're uh, – uh, relationship status because the only I people who are going to be available to celebrate my birthday are going to be single people. I love that. So we might as well, Dave, apparently David J is here requesting, but I can't, I don't see his request. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, we got David J except let's see. <laughs> let's see if we got him in. Would you like oh, oh, David J in the house. What's happening? Good morning. I heard you were asleep two seconds ago and that this was way too early for you. No, I just shotgunned an Alani, so I'm good to that go. That did it for you, the Alani? Dude, I'm cranked right now. I'm worried about you, David J. I'm worried that you shouldn't, you shouldn't be drinking these. I, I don't know. I'm ready to go now. You're ready now. I'm ready to go. Is this, song, is, is this song the most genius thing you guys have ever done, or is this, like, the worst idea ever? Who told you this was a bad idea? I guarantee you that someone on Frawley's team said this was a bad idea. Oh, my God. I got so many phone calls. They're like, girl, you do not have to do this. Don't do this. And then David was like, please. It was, please. My, it was my idea, actually. <laughs> it was, wait, but what, Frawley, why'd you do it? Every, your whole team probably told you not to do it. But did you feel like this was a good idea? This was going to get people talking? Like, why did we do this? No, I, um, I really really love the song i think the song is just like written so well um oh dave is gone right like is he yeah gone? we don't need him like it's it's literally fine i we we don't need him just let perfect it's totally fine yeah so no so i heard the song and i was just like obsessed with it i think it's just so well written i know um per i like personally know like all the other writers on the song so um, when I saw that and David had sent it to me and like the whole backstory, I was like, I, I need to, um, put my verse on it. So I, I'm actually like really, really excited about it. And it's something I'm, I'm proud to be a part of for sure. I think it's a great song. It's like a one hit earworm. Like you listen to it, like first time you're into it. Yeah. I think this is yes. such a great, I think it's brilliant though. And now, does your now do you get to go to your team and say, "I told you so"? It was a good idea, or like, or are they still like stressed out about it? Because now you have to control the narrative with it. Now you've got to figure out, like, I don't know. I think it's exhausting. No, no, no. I, I'm. I was totally joking. I mean, they, <laughs> my team, my team is pretty chill. Like, they're if I want to do something, there's very few times where they're like, "Don't do it." Um, I feel like it. Yeah, I, everything was pretty under control with this so um did he it was really just a fun thing to do and then did he oh I, I think i'm getting another request david J. did he pop out and see he could come back in oh we got one back in we were, we were sort of talking about you without you able to i got new anything. I got new wi-fi yesterday and i don't think it works that great i'm sorry is everything excuse with you david j like what's happening over here like is is the wi-fi's out overslept i'm just kidding i love you brother know it. yes it, we're up though it's a good it's a good morning hey dude i appreciate you joining it's great to see you both what so dude wait happy david birthday. happy birthday thank you. thank you baby i appreciate that happy valentine's day happy valentine's day for you both thanks thanks is there too much pressure on valentine's day to do something great or um or, or do you think there's not enough pressure? Every day's Valentine's Day with me, baby. I knew he was gonna say something like that. This is this is um, why this is why it's, it's too much. 
It's too much, David Jack. <laughs> Way too much, 24 seven. Um, I think for the girls, at least, um, well, the girls that I know, uh, we feel pressure to like, do like a little Galentine's. Like we all are like, oh my God, we have to either go out or have like a little party. And that's exactly what we're gonna do tonight. We have ordered like $300 worth of decorations that we're gonna probably, that's not even gonna arrive on time for tonight. What do you mean? Can but you return them? We're, we're gonna have to return them. But we like last second, we're like, oh my God, what are we gonna do for Valentine's Day? So we ordered like a bunch of stuff off the Amazon to um, have like a little Galentine's Day get together. We're gonna like eat, watch Twilight, cry. What it what you what decorations did you order? What do you need on to, what do you need to celebrate Valentine's Day? Um, we just got like a bunch of like like little string stuff, balloons, stuff for the table. We want to make it aesthetic, like a very cutesy. You know, we're going for that cutesy girl, cutesy girl vibe. Uh, yes, David, TikTok. I'm calling on you. Yes. Wait, I thought we were supposed to go to dinner tonight. <laughs> well, unless you're coming to. Are you gonna fly her out? Yeah, fly me. What? Yeah. Are you, are you are you gonna fly around the David J P J, the DJ P J? And that is a thing. Yes. <laughs> it was a good move. It was a good move. What, David? You got plans tonight? What's happening? You gonna come to my birthday? You know what time's your birthday at? Seven okay. thirty. Okay, so I think I'm going to dinner tonight, and then I'm gonna come. Who are you going uh, to dinner with? Yeah. Spill the Ah, uh, uh, that, that, <laughs> that just said everything. That just said everything we needed to know. That that literally just said anything. Frawley, is it true that you once went on a date with someone and and their friend, one of your friends showed up at the date and the date ended up hitting it off with your friend and did they go home with your friend but it was your date? Did that yeah, really happen? I swear to God, God that happened. How, when did yes. that happen? That, that happened... Um, March of last year, and and are we still really friends with this person or or no? Like, can you give me give me some details? Like, you were set up on a date with a guy, or like, how'd you meet this guy? Yeah, so I knew this guy. Um, Why well, I say knew lightly, we had like been following each other on Instagram, and he was a, I, I mean, he was a famous actor. He like I would say he's like an F list celebrity. In an F list celebrity. Just, can you just tell us who it was? Who was it? I definitely cannot because uh, the girls are going to know. It's just us here. It's just David and me and, and you. I cannot. I cannot. I'm taking this one to the grave. Right. Um, but we we went out. Um, well, I went out with him the first time. And the first time was kind of like a little bit of um, a shit show. But I was like, you know what? Everybody has, everybody has those days. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, and so I give him a second chance and we went out and then my friend showed up and she just, I think she just got a little jealous. I think at the time she was a little lonely and she was like, how can I make this about me? And she definitely made it about her. And um, yeah, they just went, and I was like, you know what, at that point, I'm the type of person, like, if you, if you're going to play that card, if you want to be like that, and you can, like, take the person I'm with, go, go. I don't want either of you. I'm so, not that big. That's big. I, I, I'm not that big. I would have, I would have gotten in the way. I would have, I would have called the whole thing off. I, I couldn't have let them run with it. Oh, oh no, no, I did. I left, but I'm just saying, yeah. like, I, I was, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, whatever. Like, I'm not going to talk to either of you. Like. <laughs> And now and so, we're not friends with any of these people. Um, so I, mm, I didn't talk to her for a very, very long time, and um, and then I need to like make sure she's not, not on this live right she's now. She's not on here. Imagine she's not even. She's not on here. And even if she was, who cares? Um, no, no, come no. on. We've we've spoken since, and um you know, trying to, she has her own things. It's, it's a thing, I guess, with her. It's a thing. Yeah, she has her own it's things. It's a thing. I, I don't hold grudges, but I'm just also like, will I be bringing any of my future dates, boyfriends, anything around you? 
Probably not, but... No, not even David J. No, definitely not David J. Not even David J. David, this no. song is so great. I But to me, this, this is a lunacy idea to to reach out to Frawley to do this. Was she first on your list? Were there, were there other names that turned it down and then you had to go lower down the list and eventually you ended up with Frawley? So I actually uh, I slid in her DMs and I texted her about it. But hold on, because you blocked her. You blocked her on Instagram. You had to unblock her in order yeah. to slide into her DMs. You're leaving that part out. That's a very normal thing to do, I think, to unblock. I, th I think it's a pro move. So you just you slid in and you said, hey, what did you, you say? I think I hit her with like, like a happy birthday or something. Then I followed up with it. Happy birthday, by the way, I need a couple more views on this. Can you hop on? Yeah, I'm struggling. <laughs> I, I want to cash in on your followers. I got to get my numbers up. Is there any way that you can hop on this song? Yeah, something like that. And had you, you heard the song? Did you think it was a great song? I, I, I thought I love the song. I was a huge fan of the song before. Yeah, he had it made you mad how good the song was. It was like, God, God damn, it's a, it's a good song. Yeah. Oh, he's got me with a song. Unbelievable. No, well, David's oh. writing, so happy to be a part of any anything he writes. So that was an easy yes. Easy uh, yes. Hey, I love the new song today, David. Just put a new song out. Does everyone hey. call you David, or does everyone just call you David J? Is it weird to call you David? You can call me whatever you want, brother. No, but what do people call you David, or are you, does everyone call you David J? I get DJ a lot. Um, right. um more David. The full the full name's a little weird sometimes, but it's cool. What David J is a little weird when people call you David J? Yeah, sometimes. Why? I feel like that's like your name. You're like a first name, like two name kind of guy. Doesn't I mean, matter. I, I'm not mad. The point is, <laughs> the song is out and it's great. And your new song, Better Off, is out now too. And this is this song is so inappropriate. I can't even touch it. This is about. You're better off. You're, what's the hook of this song? I was listening to it this morning. You're better off without anything on. Isn't that what this song is? Close. It's a, you, uh, it's a, it's like kind of an interpretation of they, they were better off not to be together, but you're closer, better off. That's so inappropriate. Who, who, who are you, who are you writing this with that's approving this? This is, this is just so much. It's too bad. much. Valentine's Day. It's Wait, Valentine's I, Day. I need to know, like, when you played it for your mom and your dad, like, what was their reaction? She was going to kick me out of the house at first. Was your, she pissed? Your mom was? Mm. She didn't like it very much. Really? Yeah. Really? That wasn't great. She was really going to kick you out of the house? She doesn't understand that this is just this is just music. This is art. This is like this isn't so literal. She she didn't really get that. She said, "This is not the image I want my son putting out there with his music." Yeah. So then I'm gonna, then, but then I wrote a very sweet song for my mom, and I'm gonna put that out next soon. So it's I think it's gonna come, make me come back from the grave over here. What's the hook of that? Can't tell you. Yet. What do you mean? Gotta just save tell it. us. It's just <laughs> us here. What do you mean? The worst. <laughs> thing that happens is you tell us and everybody finds out and then everybody wants to know about the song like that's like like that's the worst thing that happens is it leaks and everyone gets really excited about it yeah well there's a lot of songwriters in here that they might go and steal the dang hook this week oh. nobody's stealing the hook that's like a myth probably you ever had a hook that's stolen people steal hooks from me who name I'm... one who stole name one time a hook got stolen from you that's crazy yeah. that's lunacy. Yeah. I mean, there's a there was a, a it's a whole thing but there was a I don't even know if I'm, I can say this right never mind <laughs> what do you mean just say it. who what 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 happened let me see nobody's <laughs> in here nobody's in here bro it's just us who what what happened I can't I can't oh my god but your but but your your mom didn't like this song she thought it wouldn't be appropriate to put out there she she's knowing she's raised you. She just thought this is not. I don't want my son putting songs out talking about taking clothes off. She, that's what she said. Not she, yeah, pretty. She that that's what your she mom just, said. Just to clarify, hoping to be sweet again. Just kind of how sweet boy. Oh, somebody said tell him. Uh oh.
All right, so there was this Flow Rider song that came out today that they uh, they kind of stole my thing from it, but we ain't going to talk about it. Really? The way that you just name dropped. I don't I care. I don't care. I don't, I don't really care. But yeah. Brad Pitt always tells me not to name drop. It's just a advice, little piece of advice he gives me. Um, wow, that's crazy. Wait, how, yeah. how does that even happen, though? Like, do, like, how do they even find the song? I sent to them and then they redid it <laughs> oh my god and no one on your team like tries to do something or there's no trace or there's no record of now we got any it. of that we got it figured out We're, we'll be out we'll be good that's, that's kind of exciting though is there is it somehow flattering that they that they did that in a way like does it kind of make you go oh my god like maybe i'm really good because <laughs> they wanted to use that they wanted to use my thing I mean, maybe, I might, maybe Frawley will talk talk to me again or something. What happened between you two? I'm still trying to figure this out. What? Next. I'm st I'm still trying. There's clearly a tension here, and I I can't figure out what what the what There's happened here. But here. David is a great. I gotta take my dog or cat for a walk. I we got. <laughs> I go. All right, here's one thing. I think let's just – we got to scroll through and see who's in here. We got to say hi to some people, and then we're going to wrap it up. We got Jessica Swan in here. Hey, if anyone has any questions, too, you can throw them in this uh, chat. Uh, uh, hi, hey, Indonesia, I see you. David J says, I think I'm, I'm from Pakistan. Hi, that's very cool. We got someone from Pakistan in here. Hi, good morning, y'all. Love my beautiful angel. I don't know who that's towards. Probably me. Um – We've got uh, – uh, no one's writing anything. I mean, this is sort of your chance. We've got David J. and Frawley here. They've got a song out together. It's so juicy. Oh, my God, guys. I love your song so much. Love you guys. Oh, my God, I love your song. Lots of love. Love the new song. Hi, guys. I, don't know. I, I mean, I feel like people are wasting their moment to be chatting to these two lovebirds. But um, when will Better Off be available to use to post on Stories IG? It's out now. It's out now. Just no technology. Do you know Nepal country? <laughs> Nepal the country? I, I guess. Yo, love you, you guys. Hi, Frawley from uh, I don't know who. Did working Did on this so open, any, open any old wounds? Um, not for me personally. I like I said, like this has just been more of so of a fun experience, and like getting to do the videos with David have just. Like, it's just fun. It's been a fun thing. It's not like a traumatic, like, I need to go back to therapy twice a week because of it. It's just just once a week just at once, this point. Just, just once a week. I don't need to do We're fine. Too. Yeah. I think this is really fun. This is such a cool idea for a song and for David to reach out to you. I, I don't know. I, I think it's a cool thing. I think there's something very cool about it. If you uh, flew first class with David... He's the GOAT, local Vermonster. Are you from Vermont, David? I'm not from New York. <laughs> local Vermonster. Frawley, I love you. You're gorgeous, and I hope you have a great day. Dude, Aww. Does that person have a shot with you, Frawley? Frawley, are you single right now, or, or, or what's the deal? I am single. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I have a couple, couple dates coming up. But I think that I'm living, laughing, and loving my single girl era. So I think I might. Just what does it take for someone to? What does it take for someone to go on a date with you? And I'm wrapping it up because I'm I've taken too much of your time already. But what? No. Like, can oh. someone slide into a DM and go out with you? Do you have to be set up by a mutual friend? Could you match with someone on Raya? Like these guys that you're going out with. Like, what did it take for them to get your time? And by the way, you could cancel on them last minute, so they don't have your time yet. But what did it take to get? them this far um well, this one guy um we matched on raya which i hate to say Why? um because i just feel like that's so annoying it's like oh we matched on raya but you know what my thing is i am not a fan of dating apps and i like i like to be on raya just so i can because i'm a nosy girl like i love to know what everybody else is doing like oh i live for that shit and so i'll just be on raya swiping all day because i just want to know 
who is out there like who's single and i'd be like oh my god did you see this person's on here but i matched with this one guy and i matched with people but i don't answer them like i never because i have no intention but he was very persistent and he sent me like a voice note and he was british and i was like oh you have me you have me we can go to dinner he knew what he was doing. He knew with that voice note, he was going to win you over. He, you were going to yeah. hear his voice for two seconds. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is that the key, though, on dating apps to send voice notes? Like, skip the text, just voice note. You know what? I think you'll have a better response from me if you send a voice note. And it's a good voice note. Like, if you've got, like, if you say something funny or like, you have just a nice accent yeah that's I what think, i think that's david is, is that your experience like you have to be on these apps too like are you like you have to have great opening lines you're a songwriter you've got these clever songs with double entendres like you have to have good opening lines on these apps like what are you saying dude you know wait who said i had dating apps i'm i'm asking i'm trying to find out right now i'm just kidding yeah i, 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 I did <laughs> I deleted. I you know what crazy story. I deleted them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're all. It's fine. Well, what, 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 what were your opening lines? Really quick, because we're running out of time. I like, just want to know, like, what the ultimate David J opening line is that you had the best success with. Oh, wifey with the ring? Question mark. That's it. Works all the time. <laughs> what do people say to that? I think that's a horrible opening. Who is that working on? Who is that wor on? working on? Not, who, who is that working on? The work on Frawley. Wouldn't that be great if it did? <laughs> like, if we cut to, like, that exchange and, and, it, and like, that was exactly... Frawley's like, oh, who's getting that? Literally her. Like, that. It, that's what did it for her. I How actually, did you guys meet? I actually met her on a... Uh, we were on a bus. So we were doing a writing camp together, and I met her on a... I'm like, the, well, we didn't meet her on the bus because I was, she walked on. I was like, yo, I was looking at my friend. I'm like, who's that? He's like, probably. I'm like, I'm not going to talk to her. I'm too he scared. Was, but was directly behind me. Like, this is my seat. He was the seat right behind me. Go on. Sorry. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then my, so my friend and I'm like, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to stick to where I know best, the DMs. So I'm going to hit her with the DM after. I'll be like, hey. For you, me clearly knowing she was on the bus, I was like, did hey. Did you say Frawley, or, or did you get really personal? Did you say, hey, Lauren? No. Like, what's happening? Our original DM, I probably said something stupid to open up, but like, we were supposed ring, to. Like, wifey? Her, oh, my. I ditched her the first, first night. I did by accident. Because we were supposed to hang out when I met her, and then I had a session, and I really wanted to get out. Wait, wait, wait. You should not ditch me. You just lied about where you were and then I was like okay are you gonna come downstairs at all and then finally when you got back from your session because he lied and said that he was home like from because we were in Vegas at a writing camp at this hotel he said that he was there at the hotel when he really wasn't and then like 12 hours later he's like okay yeah like I'm ready now and I'm like I'm going to bed get out of here <laughs> probably he's not waiting around I She's got better Wait things to do. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then, but then, when did you guys end up actually like like meeting up for the first time? I I met him then like the following day at the camp, and then. Um, then the rest was rest history. Was and it was history. downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Absolutely. All right, guys. The song after we broke up, it's having like this second new wave on TikTok because of Valentine's Day, and everyone's doing the trends with this door thing and everyone's like filming it and the song is so catchy and you guys both sound you both really sound great on it together so it's a really cool song and uh better off is out now so everyone tuning in david j i, I don't like to give david j that much promo honestly but if you go to spotify and if you check out david j he's got a new song out today and it's really funny it's really good and uh frawley has not put out any new music since last year so what are is new stuff coming out soon or what's happening? Because I'm I'm kind of here waiting for it if I'm being honest. I'm kind of here waiting for it to be honest. Um, no, just I hope in the next couple weeks. Um, it's been like a huge uh, change and just like the team and just getting some stuff together. So hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll have like a I have all the music ready. It's just a matter of like you know 
mapping it out. So hopefully very, very soon. Very, very soon. Is, is this frustrating that like you have so many gatekeepers who have to listen to your music? It's like art by committee. It's like, don't you just want to throw stuff out there? Or like, do, you, oh. do we feel like where this is moving at a good pace? No, I, I definitely am the type of person is just like, I, I wish I had like 12 EPs out already. I wish I had like an album out, you know, so I, I'm like that type of person, but I know like good things take time. So I'm just going to stick with that. And, um, you know, this is the process, this is the process. And um, yeah, just put out quality music. That's what matters. And hopefully consistently this year. That's the plan. Hey, I really appreciate you guys both waking up early. Frawley's in LA, so it's 8.30 there. Super early, especially for a songwriter. No offense. Um, uh, great to see you both. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Have, what's happy been said? Have, have we not cleared anything up that we feel like we should be clearing up? I've cleared everything up on my end. We cleared up. David J., you feel good about this? Worth waking up for? I'm feeling great, brother. Hey. I'm missing your face. If you're around tonight in Nashville, come out. Anyone tuning in here in Nashville, 730 LA Jackson. We're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day and my birthday. Wait, if you're single, that's the place to in. be. Can you get me in? <laughs> I always forget that you're 20, dude. You've lived so much life for 20. Frawley, is he older or younger than you? He's, yeah. <laughs> He's is, younger. How is he that's doing it. this? Is it, like a, is it a charm he has? Like, like how, is he, how is he pulling this off? He's, he's, pu he's pulling it off somehow. I, it's so lost on me. It's lost, lost on me, too. Um, <laughs> no, but we'll I don't know. give him a little bit of credit. He's a charming guy. Mm. Look at that face. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, hey, great to see you both. Be safe out there. Happy Valentine's Day. Good luck with your friends tonight. I hope the decorations come in time. Thank Thanks for tuning in. Brother, birthday. Party. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, everyone, tuning in. What's going on? We going out like this? I, I, I don't even know how to wrap this thing. We're, I, or, I think we did. The song's out now. You got to go listen to it. And watch the videos of these two on TikTok. The, you could cut the tension with a knife. That's it. We're out of here. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for coming All right. on. Bye. Bye. Thank you.